Once you take your base out of the box, you're going to place it on a non-conductive table at least 15 inches off the floor. On the base, there are three pieces of tape holding the grounding strip in place. You can remove the tape. The next piece is the secondary coil. You're going to want to hold onto it on the gray ends. There is a bolt that's inside the base and you're going to screw that secondary coil onto that. You're just going to keep turning it and once it's snug you're going to give it another quarter turn. The next part you're going to grab that tube carousel we're going to place that right over top that secondary coil. There are three legs that will go into the three divots on the base of the biocharger. Now we're going to go ahead and grab those spectrum tubes. They're going to be in 12 triangular boxes. There are no specific instructions to handling the spectrum tubes other than handling them with care. Touching the glass itself is perfectly acceptable and the orientation of the tube is to place that tube with the protrusion on the bottom and the center facing in towards that secondary coil. You can install the spectrum tubes according to the diagram located right here. You can pause the screen so you can take a look and see where the tubes go. And we recommend that they're placed in a mirrored configuration as shown. For the next part of assembly, we're going to need the white box that was included in one of the other boxes that you received. And you'll notice there's going to be two flat washers, a split washer, and a coupling nut. And that's what we're going to need for this next section, and we'll also need that wrench. You're going to take one of the flat washers and place it on the bolt on the top of that secondary coil. The next piece is the silver toroid. When you grab that, you're going to notice that it doesn't matter which side it goes down. You're going to grab that other flat washer and place that on top of the toroid. Then you're going to grab that split washer and put that on top. And then the next is the coupling nut, which goes on top. You're going to tighten that as tight as you can with your hand and then grab that wrench that's provided in the white box and go ahead and tighten that as tight as you can. The next piece we're going to grab is that outer enclosure and we're going to put it directly over top of everything. And once you put it over top and you get down to that metal ring, just make sure that metal ring sets inside of that outer enclosure. Next, you're going to put the white lid on. If you look at it, you can see there's a little lip on it, and that's going to face down. You can just set that right on. Now you have the chance of deciding if you want the arc rod in the top or that nylon plug. Whichever one you choose, you can always switch out and change it later. So go ahead and pick the one you want and, put, and screw that in. You might have to tip your head sideways so that you can see it going down into the coupling nut as well. So you should have two cords. One will have a filter box on it, and the other one is going to connect that one with the filter box. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that one end of that filter box and we're going to plug it right into the back of the biocharger. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that other cord and plug that filter box one into that one. And then we're going to take the end of that and we're going to plug that into our surge protector. You can now choose the ethernet cable or the Wi-Fi adapter. I'm putting in the Wi-Fi adapter to get connected to my wireless network. The red button, that is our emergency shutoff button. What we want to do is turn it a quarter turn clockwise and that's going to pop it out. When they ship it to you, they just ship it engaged, so we just want to disengage it. Now we're ready to power on the biocharger using the switch in the back. We're going to push it down. It is a three-way position. Once that's powered on, you'll notice in the front, the penguin will appear in the upper left corner, and the two green lights will be lit on the left-hand side of the biocharger. Your screen is all set, and now you're ready to schedule your onboarding. Happy charging!